Today I'm going to demonstrate how to decorate a plastic Venetian mask in a steampunk style. I have several female face Venetian masks that I'm going to combine together to build a copper and brass effect looking mask. To start off with I'm going to keep one as a base mask and not change it. The second mask I'm going to draw a design on the mask and then cut that out. I've drawn a design on the mask trying to keep to the contours of the face. I've coloured in the pieces that I'm going to cut out. Now when I cut these pieces out I'm going to try and be careful because I'm going to use those on a second mask. So the less damage I can do to them at this stage the better. To cut the pieces out I'm going to use a simple rotary tool which will allow me to cut them out neatly and easily. Here is the mask after I cut out all of the marked pieces. I cleaned up the edges using a file and some sandpaper. The first step of the painting process is to cover the lower mask with a plastic primer. The next step is to cover the mask with a fine sand texture paint. The colour of this doesn't matter because it's going to get covered by the next layer of copper spray. The layer of texture paint is covered over by a copper colour spray. The top layer of the mask also needs a coat of primer. Over the top of the primer I'm going to spray the top mask with a layer of brass paint. I'm now going to glue the brass coloured top layer onto the copper coloured bottom layer. Over the top of the two masks I'm going to paint a layer of dark brown wash. I often get asked what a wash is. A wash is a very dilute paint. So when I paint it over the masks, it will stick to the layers and preferentially accumulate in the low points, but will not form a complete covering. So effectively, this brown wash will form a dark brown layer through which you will still be able to see the brass and the copper colored paints. So as I paint the wash on, you'll see it doesn't form a complete layer and in fact pours all over the mask so you need to be careful and certainly have something underneath to catch all the extra paint otherwise you're going to make a mess of your table. Once the wash has dried you need to dry brush over the whole mask. So I'm going to be dry brushing with a copper colour on the copper sections and a brass colour on the brass sections. I've used copper dry brushing to pick out the areas in the centre of the sections and then brass dry brushing to pick out the second mask layer. Now to give the mask a weathered effect I'm going to use some green paint to give the copper an oxidised look. I've used a dark green paint to pick out some of the corners around the copper parts to give the appearance of weathering. To improve the weathering effect further I have this humbral weathering powder. This dry powder you can apply with a paintbrush. So I'm going to use this to accentuate the dark green patches that I've already painted on. And here's the completed mask. 